We all know that money makes the world go around. Whether we like it or not, it's an integral part of our life, influencing our choices, our dreams, and even our relationships. So how can we get a better understanding of this powerful force and wield it to our advantage? Well, my dear and fellow readers, last week I introduced you to one of the ultimate guides that will equip you with the knowledge to know more, make more, give more money of course this book money by rob Moore. like i was saying last week that the title of the book and the author i've got a ring to them they've got a rhyme to them published for the first time in 2017 and then updated in 2018 now the next four weeks are strictly on books that help us to manage our money and our finances like pros i'm so excited because i am learning a lot and would love for all of you watching to not be left behind in acquiring this knowledge too if you missed my last video i would like you to find it here and watch it as it touched and introduced the four books that we'll be looking at in the next four weeks. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Adelaide and I like to share the books that I read that I think bring value to the reader. If you've been following me for a while now, thank you. I appreciate your presence and your support. So getting back to the business of the day, as the full title of the book says, it seems the right steps in acquiring financial freedom is to know and understand about money first, gain more of it or acquire more of it, and then give more of it. The blurb of the book says, money is a game you can win. First, understand the rules. In a world which increasingly feels like it revolves around money, it's easy to feel like the gap between the money you earn and the money you need to live the life you want is just too great. If you're not where you want to be in your life with money and wealth, then it's important to close the gap and get on track to creating the success that you want. Learn how to understand money, make more of it, and live the life you deserve. After reading this book, I can attest to you that it does what it says. If you are in any way attentive as you read this book, you will acquire the knowledge you need to understand money and how to acquire it, scale your acquisitions, and start to give more of it. As I said last week, this book is 375 pages long, so it is not a short read at all, especially as there are also numerous pages with mathematical calculations and reasoning. More ensure that you put as much detail around money Money and how we can find our way in calculations on it. So what exactly will you find in this book? I tell you, this book is not your typical run-of-the-mill finance manual. It has a unique level of specificity on some pages such that I had to go over some of the pages more than once in order for me to fully understand what is being said. And it's not because the concepts are difficult to understand, but that it would be a big loss if I forgot any of the details that are raised on those pages. This is one of the few books where I had to have my highlighter with me so that I mark some of the concepts in it, some of the nuggets in it so that they pop any of the times that I decide to revisit this book. This is one of the books that you read more than once because you want to revisit at every stage on your journey of trying to find financial freedom. From the very first page, you'll find yourself captivated by Rob Moore's relatable writing style, infused with some of his personal reflections and his initial experiences with money. It's like having a financial conversation with a friend who knows the ins and outs of money, including busting some of the long-standing beliefs and myths about finances, some of which the author himself says he was initially entangled in. You get a few aha moments as you read some of the arguments that the author raises that have run for many years unchallenged. So to put it in some form of order, there are five main areas that this author dives into in this book. The first is understanding money psychology. Rob Moore delves into the psychological aspects of money and explores how our beliefs and attitudes shape our financial outcomes. This section helped me a lot. You know, simple things like saying, money is the root of all evil or I don't have the time to make money that we carelessly say often or people who think that I've been changed by money all these words we surround ourselves with more Stanley addresses those and reprimands us to stay away from such talk so I definitely learned that by recognizing and understanding our limiting beliefs, we can then overcome them and develop a positive mindset, which is a solid foundation for financial success. I did say last week for those that have watched my video, and if you haven't, do please go to my video that I released last week. But I did say that it seems the mindset issue is a serious one that we must work on before we even start to think that we can have a chance of success with money. And with beliefs comes obstacles. So this book addresses common 
own personal hindrances to financial progress, such as fear, self-doubt, and societal conditioning. Mo provides practical advice on overcoming these challenges and guides the readers into more positive, resilient, and determined thinking. I definitely liked the stance that he took as he wrote this book. And as I have said, he does seem to be that financially savvy friend that walks you through the book, encouraging you on every page, saying, you know what? You can do it. He seems to be saying, I did it. I'm an ordinary person, so you can do it too. The second area that the author covers in this book is embracing abundance. This is one of the few books where you feel that the author genuinely cares or is at least trying to pull everyone out of the gutters on matters that most authors just rush over. So you will see that throughout the book, Mo encourages us to shift our mindset from scarcity to abundance while he tries to stay as practical as possible because, I mean, this is a standing businessman. So obviously, he looks a lot at tangibles, but he does try in this book to bring the ethereal and the spiritual matters about money. He even says himself in the beginning and the initial stages of him acquiring his own wealth that he's got right now, he was a big skeptic when it comes to such issues of spiritual and ethereal money matters. He didn't believe in it, but he is glad that he tried it at least because now he can attest to us in his book that it worked for him, that there are intangibles in money and finances. He stresses that abundance is not limited to finances only, but also encompasses happiness health and fulfillment. By embracing abundance in our lives, we learn that we can expand the opportunities for growth of our wealth. I mean, it's common sense that if your health is frail, then your chances of achieving any financial growth dwindle because you cannot perform. I would also imagine trying to make money while one is unhappy. The third category he touches on is on wealth creation strategies. Now, this is where this book is a star. I'm yet to find another book like this one. And of course, I haven't gone through the other three of the four books that we're looking at. But this one has already captivated me in terms of how Rob Moore gets into the details of the wealth creation strategies that he gives the reader. You will find that it provides practical strategies for making as well as multiplying your money. From entrepreneurship to investment, and multiple income streams. He guides us through various avenues in a quest to multiply our earning potential. This part of the book spans a few chapters and is very detailed and includes specific steps you can take in the initial stages of your entrepreneurial journey, the measurements and tracking you should perform in your business or career, and this is where a lot of the mathematical calculations I was talking about feature. You will not regret having bought this book. Trust me, the fourth area that Rob Moore in this book covers extensively is mastering money management. Again, expect a lot of calculations here. And I hope that a lot of you do love math. Because if you do not like math, how are you supposed to make it to manage any of your money correctly? You learn in this book that effective money management is key to financial success. This is one of the emphasis points that Rob Moore gives in this book, that anybody can get any amount of money. We all know examples of people that have won the lotto or have got some payouts that are windfalls and large sums of money that they do not manage well, even in the way that they think. That after a couple of years, the money has vanished. They don't have it anymore, no matter how many millions it was. A research apparently says that the average lotto winner who is not financially savvy manages and handles that money for a maximum of five years before it disappears, before it vanishes, before it goes back into the hands of those that can manage it, which are the well-known billionaires and millionaires, the same usual one person. So the author then helps us by discussing budgeting, saving, and investment strategies that help us to gain control over our finances and make smarter decisions. I mean, we all get excited to make large quantities of money quickly, but more emphasizes the need to at least find success in simpler models before very venturing into the riskier models, into the riskier ventures. If you cannot handle even the small quantity while your business or your career is giving you less, then you would not be able to manage exponential growth at all. And this is what Rob Moore wishes that we would understand. And then area number five, which is the last part of the subtitle of this book, is the power of giving. The book firmly highlights the significance of giving back. Moore advises us that once we have acquired that financial success and financial freedom, it is important to become a philanthropist and to learn to extend your hand and give back to others, to those in need, and to the world at large to make it a better place. I learned that by incorporating giving in my financial journey, I can find greater purpose and fulfillment in my wealth. In the book, the author lists big names of 
millionaires and billionaires that are well-known philanthropists, most of them we know already. And he lets us know that without giving, we create friction in the movement of money and therefore end up with less than we could have. Don't be a stingy Emma or Simon. What I also liked about this book is how Moore gives three options to the reader on the path they can choose to acquire and accumulate wealth. He does not rule out still being an employee, like some financial gurus say, but rather says you can be an employee, an entrepreneur, or an intrapreneur. But he, however, stresses that billionaires and millionaires are found in the entrepreneurs category. Anyway, have you ever heard of an intrapreneur? That was an aha moment for me because I had not heard of that term. Let me know if you have heard of an entrepreneur in the comment section below. Or are you one? Let us know how you're doing. Now, what then did I not necessarily like about this book after having said all the good things about it? Was there anything that did not meet my expectations? And the answer is yes. The links and URLs that Rob Moore provides throughout this book, some of them did not work. Now, I managed to get access to his podcast, but there were numerous documents that he shared, I think about four or five, that were I tried to access the URLs, they've probably expired since the time that the book was published in 2017. So it's very unfortunate to me that Rob Moore has not updated the parts in the URLs to his documentation. And I hope that I can communicate that back to him because I do think that his book is a valuable piece and that those documents complete the story. But unfortunately, I could not access them. So this is Money by Rob Moore, my dear readers. I thoroughly enjoyed reading and learning from this book. And I am totally convinced that anyone who lends their hand on this book will change their financial life. Do not be left behind or stay in your old beliefs on how much you could do money-wise. You can do a lot. And on a scale of 1 to 5, I would give this book a... 4.2. Just a 4 would not do justice to its in-depth content. Very few books get to that level. So if you are ready to rewrite your financial story and get rid of your limiting beliefs and embark on a path to abundance, then money, no more, make more, give more is a must read. Grab one for yourself and I have a link on where you can purchase a copy for yourself in the description of this video below. So this brings me to reps. Remember to like this video, to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on future book reviews and recommendations especially around money matters at least for the next four weeks and on that note as always cheers to many more book reviews and recommendations